Hey everyone, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Scents. Our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. Today's video is so special because it is a collaboration with my favorite fragrance website, as well as talking about my favorite fresh summer fragrances. So if you're interested to see who I'm collabing with, although I'm pretty sure I'm going to have it in the title, if you're really interested to see what they sent me, and if you want to know what I'm wearing in this high, ridiculous, humid heat to stay fresh and clean smelling, let's jump right into the video. So when the opportunity came to collaborate with them, I was super excited. And it was even more fun because they always talk to me as opinionated sense. They have no idea that I'm the Tara Michelle that's been shopping with them and spending thousands of dollars over these years. So it's like, yeah, I was chosen because of my channel, because of my subscribers, because of the way they interact. They actually go out here and they purchase things based on my suggestions and my recommendations. And that is shown, you know what I'm saying? They can see that. So. This just comes full circle for me and it means so much because I couldn't have amassed a collection like this without a, a fragrance site like this. Fragrancenet.com has such a wide variety of fragrances, selections all across the board. If you like celebrity fragrances, especially those ones you can't find anymore, the Paris Hilton's, the Jessica Simpson's, even the Ed Hardy's. I don't know if they're considered to be celebrity, but I used to love me some Ed Hardy back in the day. Those hard to find older ones. You talk about designer all over the board. You're talking about indie and niche. That's right. For you guys who like Zerzhov, for you who like the Parfum de Marley, the Delina, Delina Exclusive, Delina La Rose. They have these fragrances. Check their website out. I know some people just have money to throw away and they want to go to the actual site to spend two, three, four hundred dollars more than what they need to. But for those of us who would rather rather buy the authentic, genuine perfume and maybe be able to get two or three on the same budget as we would get one from the website, let's just say of Maison Francis Kirk Dijon, this video is for you. This website is for you. Fragrancenet.com. It feels really good to come full circle as a girl who just started off collecting fragrances because she loves to, to end up having a channel and then have them recognize me as someone that they like to collaborate. So you can get up to 80% off of a lot of fragrances with them where you can go somewhere else and it'd be a hundred or two hundred dollars. You can go to them and it's nowhere near that price. So always check them out first. That's what I do. They're my go-to. A lot of times they are sold out on things, not even going to lie. And that's because when you're looking at us here on YouTube, the majority of us are purchasing from FragranceNet.com. There are some other ones too, but today is all about them because they're my favorite. They help me get to where I am today. I'm forever grateful. And they were nice enough to send me two fragrances to discuss with you guys today. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. The first fragrance I chose from FragranceNet.com for the purpose of this video is Dolce & Gabbana's The One Gold or the Parfum Intense. So that's a lot, I know. Here on the front, it just says The One, but when you look at the bottom of it, it says Gold or the Parfum Intense. This is a 2.5 fluid ounce bottle. I remember when this came out and I remember thinking, I wonder what they did to it. You know, there's so many flankers in this collection I used to love the original. I really liked the EDT as well, but it was so close to the original to me. And I loved the EDP until I didn't. It's like I just woke up one day and was like, man, I'm over this fragrance. I've worn it so many times. I've gone through so many bottles. Let me do something different, okay? So when I saw this one come out, I thought, Maybe they've put enough of a twist to it that I would be able to appreciate it again. Maybe it would even make me miss the first one. I'd like to get back into that vibe. Well, this one is very different from the original. It makes me want to smell the original again. I'm not going to lie, but the twist in this is everything. I don't feel the need to own the original when I have this one, the other parfum. So, Let's go over the notes because this one is really new to me. Um, this one has plum, Italian mandarin, pink pepper, rose, jasmine, lily of the valley, 
patchouli, vanilla, and white musk. Nowhere did they go wrong in this fragrance. When you first spray it, it is super clean. That uh, pink pepper and that Mandarin orange, Italian Mandarin are coming into play. Very zesty, little spicy kick, but super duper clean. And I don't pick up much of the plum at all until the dry down. So um, along with this, you, you have your rose and your jasmine and your lily of the valley is going to give you a little bit of greenness. The patchouli is the, what's giving you the spice, the vanilla and the white musk. Guys, this smells so good. It is, it is just energetic because of that citrus. Not zesty, but bright. Clean. The pink pepper and the patchouli in this are, they're in love. They're a match made in heaven. And the vanilla and the white musk, perfection. Guys, this is such, this is such a beautiful fragrance. And it is, it changes. So it goes from being citrus and bright and energetic and, you know, spicy to very sexy, very date night, very come and cuddle me while we, you know, curl up and watch a movie together. This one is versatile. You can wear it during the day. Like if you're going to start off with a date, go have drinks or, you know, have something to eat by the time you get back to the house or you go to the movies and you're doing some more intimate things. This has transitioned with you. I really, really like this fragrance a lot. Hey guys, if you can hear my air, I really do apologize. But if you were here with me right now, we were just discussing perfume. I would not have you in a hot house. So we're going to go ahead and pretend that you're here with me, right? And this beautiful air conditioning on this 275,000 degree day. Okay. Okay. Now the next fragrance that FragranceNet.com was so gracious enough to send me is one I have been wanting for a very long time. I love the majority of the fragrances from this line. However, if I'm keeping it honest, they are not good when it comes to longevity and projection, that sillage, that scent bubble, whatever we're looking for, whatever word you want to use to describe when you want a fragrance that permeates off of you, when you want to leave that scent trail as you walk by, when you want to be able to smell it yourself without having to bury yourself in your clothes or on your skin. This line doesn't really speak to those wants and desires. It doesn't really fulfill those wants and desires. However, when you can get a 6.8 fluid ounce bottle, it makes things better. This is from the Prada Infusions line, and this is called Fleur de Oranger. This was my favorite one. When I purchased all of those decants to test that whole entire line out, this one spoke to me. Again, I'm a citrus girl. If you're going to have um, orange blossom in you or any type of orange or mandarin or anything like that, I'm probably going to like you. So let's talk about the notes in this one. So Infusion de Fleur de Oranger, we have orange blossom, jasmine, neroli, tuberose, and mandarin orange. Full disclosure, I am so tired of jasmine and tuberose. I keep saying this. Rose was on that list, but I just keep falling in love with more and more rose fragrances. So I'm just going to let it go. I'm just going to let it go. This one, though, again, was my favorite. It was one I knew I instantly wanted. I sprayed it here. This this is like this isn't necessarily zesty, but it is bright. The orange blossom in this is everything. I just like it. And I've never really heard anyone else say that this one was their favorite from the line. A lot of people like that iris one, which I love and um, like Amand or Anand or something like that. Great. This one spoke to me. So I am not recommending that you blind buy it. Get your nose on it if you can. And keep in mind, too, I have to top up with this one at least two extra times. So when I first leave the house and I put it on for the day, then I top up probably three hours or four hours later. And then another three or four after that before, I, you know, I go home um, just to keep the fragrance going. And I really could do it every two hours. I mean, for me, that is just. I don't know. And it's only been with the decants that I've had that problem. So maybe with having a full bottle, it won't be as bad. I will let you guys know because this is definitely the time of year to wear this fragrance. Absolutely positively. It is bright and energetic. It is effervescent. I don't know where the bubble fizziness comes in in this. Bubbly fizzy. Clean. Just beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. The jasmine is very prominent. The neroli is just so bright and uplifting. I love this fragrance so much. And again, to fragrancenet.com. Thank you. Thank you for recognizing your girl. Um, thank you for having prices that allowed me to amass the collection I have over the, the last four years and just have so much fun getting to know fragrances. Um, I've never had any issues, you guys, with getting um, anything incorrect, having anything be a fake or a phony. Um, everything has been fantastic, which is why I continue to give them my business, as well as the fact that the one time that I had to return something, they made it so easy. The only reason I was returning was because I ended up getting gifted the perfume by someone I wasn't expecting that before I got theirs in the mail so I didn't need it anymore but if you have not shopped or searched their website again I have a discount code that they were so nice enough to provide um, for me for you guys it'll be in the description box and of course on the screen I also have specific links for these two fragrances that they uh, gifted to me as well as the ones we're going to talk about in this video will more than likely, at least some of those links, will lead you to FragranceNet.com as well. Because again, most times they have the best prices. So let's get into these summer fresh fragrances. First up, we're going to talk about <laughs> just look. It's so nostalgic for me because it was my favorite shoe when I was growing up. We're going to be talking about Fila Fresh for her. This is like a body spray that they give you. I put this one in my purse because it's so much lighter. This <laughs> perfume one or the, the bottle is so weighted. It's like. Heavy and weighted. Um, This is what is on this top. Don't play with me. Listen, I'm not even going to edit it out. You want to act a fool today? You act a fool today. Everybody go see you act a fool. I ain't got time. So this is a very fresh and fruity fragrance. Perfect for going to the gym, walking, running errands. It doesn't matter. This, oh, this smells so good. And it smells like melon, which is not my thing. At least I didn't think it was, but lately... It's something else I'm going to be reviewing for y'all soon that is just like melon filled and I just love it. So the notes for this one, because there's too many lemon, green apple. The green apple is super prominent in this to my nose. You guys, I got to preference my nose because some of y'all will get some. I don't smell. Do you not me, boo boo? Uh, please. OK, lemon, green apple, watery pear, also notable uh, or noticeable, uh, ruby, strawberry, rose, jasmine, freesia, raspberry, sandalwood, halo musk, and whipped vanilla. With all of that going on, this still has such a freshness to it. Such a beautiful, just like cleanness to it that is super fruity with the perfect amount of sweetness. So I absolutely love it. Again, this is Fila Fresh for her. Like, who knew Fila had perfumes? Like, for real. I talked about this one recently when I hauled it. I talked about the name of it and the way that everyone hyped it up to be this tall, amazing, cold glass of apple juice and how that is not what I get at all. I saw a lot of you in the comment section saying the same thing, so I appreciate that. This is called Apple Juice. This is from Zara, okay? I think I'm done with Zara as a whole, guys. Either their stuff smells exactly like something I already own, I'm not looking for a dupe of, or I just don't like it. This one is an exception to the rule. Um, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but for some reason, guys, I can't let it go. I just, Dude, you talking about an easy reach or a dumb reach, however we want to put that out there. This is, I don't need to think about it. I'm going to put this on. I'm going to smell like I'm fresh out the shower, just washed my hair with some Garnier fruit teas or something. And it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Very pleasant, very super duper duper easy reach. So the notes in here are apple, grapefruit, orange, rose, peony, violet, jasmine, musk, sandalwood and cedar it is very green it smells like the skin of a green apple to me very much shampoo after you've washed your hair not sudsy soapy but squeaky clean maybe a little stripped of your oils 
Easy reach, easy reach. So this would never be a repurchase, but for whatever reason, I can't let it go. So again, that is apple juice from the house of Zara. This next one is a flanker of one of the most amazing perfume lines. When it comes to fresh, crisp, clean, citrus, linen type of fragrances. Of course, we are talking about none other than Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Collection. So this one that I chose, I could have chosen so many of them. Like there are just so the original, I don't like the intense, so I digress. Um, the Italian Zest, but it doesn't last, so I never recommend it. Love is Love, well, that's a little sweeter, so maybe not. But look, Forever, um, in Capri, you know, dreaming in Portofino. Today I chose Love in Capri. This one smells so similar to the original, but better. I get better projection and it's, it's longer lasting for me. So the notes in this one are lemon, mandarin orange, honeysuckle, one of my favorite notes, heliotrope, another favorite note, jasmine, cedar, and musk. It just does it for me. The cedar and the musk and the dry down. This is just so good. If you want fresh and clean and crisp, like I said, you just want to smell pretty and clean all day, no matter how hot it is. You can wear this to the gym. You can wear it if you're working out outside. It's going to leave you smelling a lot fresher than what it would if you didn't have it on. Now, don't play games and act like if you out here sweating in 110 heat, you just going to smell like warm, fresh flowers and, and, you know, sunshine. You're going to smell like a puppy and all outside. But I digress. This will help a little bit, a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> I always describe this fragrance as one that you can dress up, but it's very much a jeans and T-shirt fragrance for me. Super ultra clean and I love it. This is from the House of Dua and it's actually an inspired by fragrance. I believe it's inspired by Maison Francis, Kirk Dijon's Universal universalis forte or something. look i probably should have looked that up i don't care so this is called aqua bravata this is from the house of dua is it universalis forte i believe so so this is so clean it is a nice citrus beautiful fragrance uh, not unlike the light blues like i said last time when i was talking about this it doesn't smell anything like them but if you like that vibe of zestiness and brightness and super cleanness this is another one that's going to give it to you again aqua bravada so the notes in aqua bravada are sicilian bergamot amalfi lemon white flowers egyptian jasmine tunisian rose precious woods and a melange of musks the musks in here are just gorgeous. I really recommend and love this fragrance for spring and summer, especially if you are someone who wants to be citrus and clean, you know, not too much of either or. This is not a soapy fragrance at all. You're just going to smell wonderfully clean and put together. Aqua Bravada from the House of Dua. I once described this fragrance by saying it is what I would wear to the zoo to hide and protect my sense of smell from the animals. Whoo, some of those houses just be, you know, guys. Yeah, I know those animals do not smell good at the zoo. So this is Versace Versense. Love this fragrance, very unisex. Every woman and every man can wear this. This is not leaning masculine or feminine this is one of those perfectly anyone can wear it like androgynous type of fragrances um it is potent enough though that you can literally just like put your shirt over your nose and be perfectly fine so the notes in verse sense are bergamot citruses green mandarin fig pear cardamom lily musk narcissus jasmine virginia cedar olive tree and sandalwood all of that going on in there and i just get a beautiful clean citrus fragrance that it does dry down and i start to pick up that fig still a clean fragrance through and through very versatile gonna definitely transition and give you a fun time one that i super love to wear in the high heat especially if i'm going to be outside for a very long time and then if you can get back to your car let's just using the zoo as an example top up freshen up again you are in business for a good eight hours for sure with one top up even in the heat so that's versace versace 
This next fragrance smells like pure baby powder to me. If you love the smell of baby powder, you love the smell of just smelling good and clean. Burberry Brit Rhythm for her Eau de Toilette formulation. I wore this the other day in some intense heat and you couldn't tell me nothing. I knew I still smelled so great, so fresh, just absolutely amazing. Uh, in here, and it's the Oris. If you love the no Boy Limited, Oris Musk Cedar Coumarin Blackberry Leaf Neroli and Orange Blossom. You're going to get that Neroli in here ever so uh, ever so slightly for people who are afraid of neroli please don't let that scare you away this is such a fan freaking tastic fragrance let me tell y'all something honey again i would have thought that there were uh loads and loads of iris and violet notes and powdery notes in this the fact that it's not blows my mind. You guys can see I really like I've worn it like twice recently and I'm this is going to be in rotation for the rest of the summer because I just really love the way it smells and I like the way I feel when I'm wearing it. This is one that I do not have to top up on because I'm a heavy sprayer and it's all over my clothes and it stays around. But I will after lunch because I tend to be outside walking or going to my car and just been in the heat for five minutes. Listen, I can't I can't smell like outside. I can't I can't do that. So I will top up again as soon as I hit the building or in my car before I walk into the building and all is fine. This one Burberry Brit Rhythm for her or the toilet formulation. I recently showed you guys on Instagram that I had used up this perfume. And even though I have at least one backup bottle, I'm not pulling it out until I've gone through some of the others in this line. I finished Terra first. Now this is Ocean de Joa from Giorgio Armani. So this one is gone. I do have a bigger bottle of it and I'm gonna put it over with the rest of my bottles that I've used this year. Eventually I'm gonna have to do a video on that and go into depth about all of those, but that is a fresh, clean, like fruity shampoo type of fragrance. Not soapy, but again, like that Garnier Fructis type of vibe or that herbal essence type of vibe. After you've rinsed it out of your hair and you still smell absolutely amazing, or your hair does. Um, Ocean Du Jour was a stunner for me, but I was so impressed by how many compliments she garnered. Like. I just thought that I liked her. I didn't realize that so many people would like her on me. And she is definitely missed. I freaking love this fragrance. Just, just so clean. Woo. Um, I want to use air and sky because I have backup bottles of those as well before I go back to ocean. Because to be honest, I think ocean is my favorite from that line. So again, that is one more time for the, for the one more time. Ocean de Joa from the house of Giorgio Armani. Unless you don't like this perfume, I cannot see how anyone could have a fresh summer fragrance list and not have this on it. This is from the house of Chanel and this is Chance O Fresh. Come on, y'all. Just like seriously, like once I start wearing this, it's going to be super gone. The notes in here are lemon, citron, pink pepper. Teak wood, iris, water, hyacinth, and jasmine. All of that. That's what you get. All of that. This is, this could be deemed unisex too, but I think it pulls more feminine. And I love this for me, so I wouldn't want it on my guy. But it just smells so good. I love teak wood. Any other women out there that love teak wood? I know a lot of people think it's like a masculine type. Teak wood smells amazing. Mahogany, teak wood, all of that. So again, why do I keep putting the bottles down before I'm talk done talking about them? This one here is a top upper. I always, all of my chance fragrances, I have to top up at the four hour mark uh, just because I want to refresh. I want to smell it again. And it's amazing. This is perfect for spring and for summer. The high heat. Absolutely love it. All day. Yes. <laughs> the only super soapy fragrance that I can tolerate. There was a Danielle's milk bath from Be Layered that had me thinking I would never in life be able to tolerate a soapy fragrance. It just was too over the top for me. But this from Replica, Bubble Bath, hit me immediately. I had a travel 
I sprayed it once and immediately ordered a full bottle. How could I not? This is perfect. Perfect for high heat, humidity, and all that nastiness when it's hot. You can wear this all year round if you want to, but I can't think of a better way to smell like you are literally stepping out of a bubble bath than this, and especially when it's hot outside. So thank you, Replica, for showing this girl that she could like a soapy fragrance, for doing it to perfection. I appreciate you. Sea notes, woody notes, and patchouli. That is what you're going to get on the notes list from the House of Hermes when we are talking about Old Day Merveille Blue. This fragrance is stunning. Guys, this is this is perfect for spring and for summer, but especially for summer. You want to be fresh. You want to smell amazing. You don't want to cause too much of a ruckus. Like people are not going to be offended by this. Some may not even pay attention to it, but they will have to admit when you walk past them or if you're sitting in close proximity to them that you smell amazing without trying too hard. This fragrance just exists in a realm of perfection to me. When it comes to fragrances, again, that aren't trying too hard, that aren't attention seeking, they just naturally occur after being created, of course, and you smell great. Like, oh, it's almost... It's, it doesn't smell anything like a Juliet has a gun or a Glossier U, but those are like just an extra set of skin, like your, your skin, but better. This one here is kind of sort of like that, but giving you a little bit more oomph than those two do in the cleanest way. Look at the packaging on this, the blue. Ooh. So Ode Merve Blue is a very good pick if you're looking for a fresh summer fragrance. That is it for this summer fresh fragrance video. Thank you again to fragrancenet.com for collaborating with me. Again, discount code and links will be in the description box. Go to their website if you haven't been there. As a matter of fact, in the comments, tell me, did I just introduce you to fragrancenet.com or are you one of those OGs who already knows where it's popping? Let me know either way in the comments. Also, drop your favorite one or two fresh summer fragrances if I didn't already name them here. You can also talk to me in the comments about the ones I named here. Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you have them? Do you miss them? Are you curious about them? Want a little bit more detail? We could talk about it in the comments. Not a problem. While you're here, please like this video. Also subscribe to my channel, join the Terror Squad, as well as select the notification bell so that you never miss any of my future uploads. As always, guys, I love talking to you in the comments. Go and check out all of the videos I have been dropping. I may not be doing them three a week like I want to, but I'm still coming consistently every week. Until then, guys. Bye.